ash, the end product of burning of wood. Uh -huh, we have it here. See that even there are charcoal. Another that is biochar. Yeah. Which also help to promote the growth of crops. Viewers, welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation. Today we are going to talk about wood ash. Wood ash. This is simply a powdery substrate that we get from combustion of wood. So this is a product of burning of wood. If you burn a, a wood, you see that you can easily get these products. Wood ash is known to be used as the main source of fertilizer and insecticide, a bio-insecticide. For our forefathers and mothers, some years back, I took the pain to ask my mom, who is a farmer and has about 50 years experience in farming. I asked her, were they using any fertilizer during their time? And what she told me was, there were nothing like fertilizer those days, but what they realized was that anytime they burn their farms, they are doing land preparation. And where they see wood ash, they plant a lot of crops like plantain and all those things. After a while, they can see that these crops which are within the wood ash as the substrates perform better when it comes to growth and development. Even fruitening. They pushed my attention to research into it. And we did a research on the field of which we have seen the results. After this explanation, we shall move to the field on how to apply wood ash on the field, especially on a banana stroke plantain nursery, um, where we have been able to see that indeed wood ash is a good source of fertilizer, organic source of fertilizer for our crops. Now, we realize that wood ash contains potash, that is potassium, as one of the main macronutrients for the growth of crops. When you look at the chemical composition, you will see that is K C A C O. So if you are doing the presentation, you see that it will be K2 C A2 C O3. That is potassium, it contains potassium, it contains calcium, it also contains oxygen and carbon. All these elements which are good for the growth of plants are found in wood ash which has bioinsecticidal property if you apply it you see that insects cannot perform the activities on the leaves well once they get into the soil it also promotes the growth and development of our crop plants let's go to the field and watch how to mix how to apply i would say that with a uh with our result that we have we did one is to five each container that you use it should be one maybe if you're using this one full of this and five full of um water you mix it and apply it using a simple um watering can let's go to the field and look at the results so this is just a wood ash Hello viewers, we welcome you once again to Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that teaches much about agriculture. We try as much as possible to give you much more practical ideas in the field of agriculture. Today, we are still on plantains. If you see my face, if you see Smart Agro, then it's all about the welfare of plantain stroke, banana, sucker, especially at the nerve level. Very soon, 
We are going to enter the field for management. We have a lot of videos. Stay tuned. If today is your first time of being with us, please kindly subscribe to our channel for much more practical videos. Today, we are going to talk about an organic protocol that actually supports the growth of plantains, especially at the nursery. I always preach for organic agriculture and at the nursery we can use wood as, as one of the main source of our fertilizer to enrich our soils, to control insects and all those things at the nursery, no matter how. Stay tuned as we've been doing that indeed we are going to do the um, lecture room practical and after that we shall move to the field for much more practical things and the result of applying wood ash on the field. Now, what is inside wood ash? What is wood ash at all? Wood ash for all we know, it is just the end product of combustion of wood. That is combustion. It is a powdery residue that we obtain from the combustion of wood or the burning of wood. Then we get wood ash. So, we talk about wood ash. It has some ingredient present in there that is able to support the growth of crop plants and if you mention wood ash you cannot forget the main active ingredient being potassium potassium is part of the macronutrients needed for the growth of crop plants but research shows that indeed wood ash also contains certain trace elements and then also micro um, nutrients which also affects positively the growth of our uh, crop plants. So now, without wasting much time, let's look at the components inside wood ash. Aside a bioinsecticidal property, let us look at the component. Wood ash is known, I told you that it is simply the end product or the powdery residue that we get from combustion or the burning of wood. These are the components. One. Wood ash is known to contain potassium, potash. So it is normally, you see, you, you see it is what potash. Simply put. That is all potassium. And this potassium is a macronutrient needed for the growth of plants. Number two, we have, sorry, we have calcium also there. We have carbon. Because you know that after burning, carbon is there. That is what is found in the smoke. So carbon is there already. Then we have oxygen. All these are elements. These elements in their organic form is found in wood ash. If you look at the importance of wood ash, due to its bioinsecticidal property, it is able to deal with a lot of crop pests that affects its normal group. For example, white flies, a lot, varieties of them. If you pour it on the leaf, automatically it is going to deal with it, other than maybe going in for synthetic chemicals. So, let us look at the chemical um, formula of this wood ash. Looking at the constituents. There are other elements, but for some reason we cannot waste them all over here. There are these trace elements, these micronutrients such as carbon, copper, zinc, molybdenum, and all those things which also promote the growth of 
crop plants. The potash is known to promote root initiation and regeneration, which is very important. So when you are going to do your plantain entry, we can um, put potash, you can put wood ash with your substrate. You can add it and do some, you know, of which will come there later. We have even done some presentations on it. Um, some years ago, and it's still on our channel. You can go and watch the constituent. But before we move on, let's talk, let's work on this. Um, Richard has shown that indeed this is the chemical formula of um, wood ash. We have potash, we have calcium, we have carbon, we have uh, oxygen. So without wasting much time, we have K. These are the chemical symbols. This is K, calcium, this is CA, we have carbon, this is C, we have oxygen, O. So if you look at the chemical symbols of this element, this is how they are. Let's combine them. Richard has shown that this is the chemical formula for wood ash. We have this. We have uh, potassium with a chemical representation of K, calcium, um, carbon, and we have oxygen in here. You can just pour the powdery wood ash on the leaves of the crop plants if only you want to use it for the control of pests, especially the pests which are responsible for the destruction of the leaves. You can just pour it on the leaves. And then, if you want it to work chemically on the substrate, you can pour or you can even add it to water. Then you spray it on the leaves. So, should you want to add water, we all know that the chemical representation of water is H2O. I think today we are entering the chemistry class. I know many of us are um, not uh, conversant with these uh, things that are writing on the board. I think the practical aspect of what is important, we shall come back again. We will not do the chemical uh, part, we will not proceed. But I wanted you to know the constituents of the whole wood ash. Now, this is how it works. In our nature there, we pour some of the uh, mixture, that is a mixture of wood ash and water, on the leaves of our um, nursery, our plantation banana nursery. You see that it also promotes uh, photosynthesis activities and everything. So you can see our, the leaves of our seedlings that they did, they are also doing well. These are the organic protocols that we've been doing and a hidden secret that today, through Smart Agro, we are going to unveil it. We are almost done with the classroom lecture. Let us move on to the field and watch how to formulate the whole wood ash. To formulate the wood ash, simply put, it is um, 1 is to 5. Yeah, you pour, you use any container that you want, full of it. Make sure you fetch 1 pound of this, of wood ash. Plus H2O, which is water. Let's use a, a small container. Let's assume something like this. We are going to cut it. Yeah, and then fetch something like this. We are going to cut it. We we'll just cut it at the edge here. Fetch the wood ash, just one of it. Pour it in our watering can and then fetch. Five quantities of this and pour it. It's very simple. Don't confuse yourself. Let's go to the field and let's see how it works. How it is being can be applied and the end result. How we are getting and what we are seeing on the field. It is very interesting. Our siblings are going healthy, uh, devoid of pests and diseases. So let's go. Let's go to the field and watch. Hello everyone, so um, this is uh, 
you see that this is a burnt wood and we all know that wood ash is simply the powdery residue of combustion of wood so after subjecting this to burning you realize that we have some wood ash here yeah so we are going to fetch it So we all know that uh, at a temperature of 600 degrees Celsius, wood ash will contain potassium, calcium, carbon, oxygen as the main active ingredients in there with other trace elements which are volatile. So now um, we have it here, the purpose of our viewers. Just use this as a measurement. One may ask that why are we using this? For the convenience and the sake of our farmers. Normally we know that farmers are always busy on the field. And to get some measuring instrument like cylinder, beaker, whatever. is very difficult. So, whichever container that you use. As similar to what I'm using. You just fetch one of this. Is to 10 of this quantity of water. Um, sorry, 5. Just one of this to 5 of each quantity of what water if i just one wood ash of this and then five quantities of what water so this is it this is wood ash the end product of burning of wood uh -huh, we have it here see that even there are charcoal another that is biochar yeah which also help to promote the growth of crops on the average, the pH of wood ash is known to be 8 to 9 there on the pH scale. So we fetch it for the purpose of our practical work. We have biochar in there. Full of it. So it's full. We pour it in our watering can. Automatically, we have one quantity of this. We are going to add ten, uh, five quantities of this of water to dilute it. Then we apply. That's what we've been doing. If you cast your eyes here, you know that we have done some um, planting here. It's still in the nursery because of our, our method goes with a pre-nursery and a post-nursery. Here is a post-nursery. Here is a pre-nursery. We have transferred the seedlings to this side for another further multiplication. Yeah, we want more figures. So once this one grew to a certain diameter, we are still going to multiply using some simple method to multiply again and get more suckers. Yeah, so here is our post measure. Before planting, we added wood ash to all of this. They are surviving. They are going very well. But we will come there for another video. Let's go and focus on the applications that we've done here. This whole pre nursery field here, over there, we use our main recipe is wood ash. Let's have uh, um, one quantity of this in a 14 liter watering can. A research field. We want you to see that indeed, you don't just have to stick to one innovation. You keep trying. Now, the whole field is flooded with seedlings. There is no shade net, but they are growing nicely. The photosynthetic activities, everything is on course. 
the amount of light if you are going to screen off light um definitely the leaves of your seedlings are going to be pale but here you see they get their full photosynthesis because of our environment there is massive sunlight now the sun is gone they are still surviving nicely so our antidote for today is our wood ash every three days we pour this wood ash you can see that none of our leaves here is being perforated by any crop pests they are going very nicely so every three days we do our application simple on the leaves shake because uh, it might be blocking it. out of time you can even see it before we apply you can sieve it after the whole thing you sieve it nicely before you apply now for the purpose of the video and time wasting that is how you are doing an application like this so, it's very simple no microbes can sit on our leaves we are growing very nicely yeah the charcoals are block it so on a normal way if you want to do your application just sieve it but for the purpose of the video you don't want to waste your time that's how come you didn't you couldn't save it you sieve it nicely and then you apply and you will see that indeed everything will be flowing nicely as it is